Hey there guys, welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're doing an unboxing of the iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, so this one is in Pacific Blue. Uh, this does come in a couple different colors. So it comes in gold, silver, and graphite. Um, comes in 128, 256, and 512 gigs storage. So the one I got is the base storage, 128 gigs. And um, our packaging is a little bit different this year. So we get the phone on the front here with the new wallpaper. Um, it is a little raised here and of course the box is smaller because they no longer include the charging brick and the headphones so um, just taking a look at the packaging here again front of the phone right there on the side we get iPhone and that's in the color of the phone itself Apple logo right there iPhone on the other side and another Apple logo and then on the back here it tells you what it includes so we get the iPhone 12 Pro USB-C to lightning cable power adapter and headphones are sold separately and then tells you about the um, other stuff it supports so CDMA, GSM, UMTS, LTE and 5G sub 6 and millimeter wave cellular, cellular technologies Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC and GPS and then down here we get the model number and everything there so it is uh, MGKK3LLA iPhone 12 Pro Pacific Blue 128 gigs right there so pretty cool so we'll go ahead and unbox it or take the packaging off here nice and easy there and I believe the pros all get um, a black box and the non pro the 12 gets um, regular white box but you still get a picture of the phone on the front there so taking off the cover right here we get the phone itself so uh, this is similar to the 11 pro last year where they had this kind of matte finish on the back um, and we get the Pacific Blue, so it looks really, really nice. Um, I went with the Pro this year versus the 12 because I did want that extra camera, and now that the pricing is so different, so the pricing on the 12 is a little bit higher than it was for the 11, and it kind of leaves not much wiggle room between the two models, and I wanted the 128 gigs, so for the uh, 12 with 128 gigs it was 879 plus tax and then for this uh, for the pro with 128 gigs it was thousand so it wasn't that much of a difference so I decided to go with the pro this year so taking a look here oh man that's gonna get smudgy real quick <laughs> so and the only thing covering it is the front here and so we have on here it tells you the we got the silent switch volume right there and power and then just pop it up right here and it even has a little power right there so so on here I'm not sure if you can even see it but the notch is still there it's supposedly a little bit smaller but um, this is the 6.1 inch model so that's another change from for this year is the um, smaller pro is now 6.1 inches versus 5.8 so and then the other change is the design so we have this beautiful just um, instead of rounded corners, it's all flat. So we're going back to kind of this iPhone 5, 5S, 4 kind of thing here. So just taking a look, quick look, we get our uh, silent mute switch, volume keys right there, uh, our SIM card slot right here. On the bottom, we get our uh, speaker and microphone as well as our lightning port right there. On the opposite side there, we get our power key, which is a little bit larger than previously was. And then we get a little window for the millimeter wave. So not the nicest looking thing in the world, but it's there. So it looks really, really thin. Uh, on the back, of course, we have our Apple logo. We have the three cameras. We also have the LiDAR sensor right there. Not sure you can see it. And then the LED flash right there. So taking a look at what else we get in the box, which is not much, we get the uh, lightning to USB-C charging adapter right here and of course this is going to be like three feet long not very big another change they made here is the um, lack of stickers so we have one sticker instead of two so we have our sim uh, sim eject tool right there iPhone and an Apple sticker so you lose out on one Apple sticker just to give you a quick comparison of the iPhone 11 versus the iPhone 12 Pro so the iPhone 11 is also 6.1 inches um, it's got more rounded edges so it has a little bit more bulk on it um, if we look at the sides here you can see we have that flat edge versus the rounded corners 
same thing up here and then on the back you can see um, the difference here so obviously uh, the 12 is going to look very similar to the 11 on the back because the camera layout and everything uh, as well as the glossy finish so the pros are the only ones to get the matte finish but uh, that's just to give you an idea so it actually is even though they're the same size look at how much bigger or how much longer the uh, iPhone 11 is that's kind of surprising and then here's the other side right here so kind of interesting there so you have the the more much more rounded corners on that uh, on the iPhone 11 okay so let's go ahead and boot it up for the first time okay and here is our hello screen so what I'll go ahead and do is just set it up um, as stock and we can just take a look at our setup process real quick so the setup in iOS 14 actually did change a little bit here. Uh, so uh, we have a different look to it. It's like the United States. So um, you can quick start where you can have your old phone next to it and then copy everything over. But like I said, I'm just going to start fresh for this one. So set up my Wi-Fi here. All right, now we get to this data and privacy screen. Um, it says this icon appears when an Apple feature asks to use your personal information. You won't see this every feature since Apple collects this information only when you only when needed to enable features, secure services, or personalize your experience. And we'll go ahead and continue there. And this is uh, Face ID, so you can set up Face ID uh, right here. We'll set that up later. We'll create a passcode if we want to, so you can have a six-digit, four-digit, um, custom, or custom alphanumeric as well. All right, so then we're given options to uh, restore from backup. So you can restore from an iCloud backup, restore from your Mac or PC, uh, transfer directly from iPhone. So it would do the same thing where you have the phone next to it. Move data from Android if you have an Android device, or don't transfer if you want to start fresh. So now it asks you for your Apple ID. So we're going to go ahead and say uh, no, and we'll set that up later. We have our terms and conditions. And then we have express settings where you can um, have it just pick everything for you or you can customize it here. So you can keep your iPhone up to date if you want to. Uh, you can continue with iMessage or FaceTime, location services, Siri, screen time, and then your iPhone analytics, app analytics, and then you have your True Tone display, uh, and then you have a tester right here where you can see a difference right there. So you may be able to see a little bit of difference right there. And then you can choose light or dark mode. And then you also have a standard and zoomed version right here. And then welcome to iPhone. So now we're at the main screen right here. All right, so here we are at the main screen. So you get the typical iOS 14 background here are just our main stock apps. So FaceTime, calendar, photos, camera, all that good stuff here. Um, you also get a couple of other apps included. So um, as part of iOS 14, you guys know about the Translate app right there. Apple Store app, Clips, GarageBand, Keynote, Numbers, Pages, and iMovie. So it's telling me about this new quick take video. So it's tap and hold the shutter to record a quick video. Drag the shutter to the left for burst. Uh, so this also worked on the iPhone 11 as well. And uh, what's great is I missed having Zoom because one thing about the iPhone 11, and mind you, I love this phone. I've had this phone since it came out, is the lack of Zoom here. So you now get the ultra wide on, you only get the ultra wide on the 11 and the 12. And then the Zoom is kind of poor because you're not, you're missing that telephoto lens. So if you want the Zoom with your, with your phone, you definitely want to get the Pro model. So as you can see, you get the ultra wide, you get the traditional, and then you get that telephoto, and it makes zooming so much better. So if you're the type of person that zooms in on things, um, like for example, when I went to the zoo, I wanted to take pictures of animals, and I could not get good pictures because the 11 just doesn't have a good zoom. So if you want the zoom, this is the one to get. So um, I'm definitely going to be checking this out a little bit more. And I'm excited to try out the new night mode on all the cameras. 
So I'll definitely check that and out. Another thing I'll show you real quick is the version that comes on here. So um, it does come with iOS 14.1 right there and then I also wanted to show you um, some of the wallpapers so um, there are going to be some new wallpapers on iOS 14.2 however they're not in 14.1 but with the new iPhones you do get um, some different wallpapers here so with the Pro this is the wallpaper you're going to get here so you've got a live photo and there you go really nice and that is a light and dark version of that we have the gold it looks really nice we have the graphite, and I'm sure I'm sorry you can see the flicker right there, and that is just from uh, the refresh rate of the camera. And then we have the silver right there, so really nice there. So anyway, guys, this is a unboxing and first look at the iPhone 12 Pro in the Pacific Blue. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, really, really looking forward to using this. So uh, definitely stay tuned for more on this, and I'll probably do a comparison to the iPhone 11 uh, more in depth if you guys would like to see that. So definitely let me know in the comments below. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you did like it, uh, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video.